I'm trying to read books and articles in a foreign language, but it's too hard to understand. How can I improve my reading skill? Don't forget to subscribe to Lang Explorer to show your support. Are you planning to read books, newspapers, or websites written in the foreign language that you're currently studying, but finding it hard to grasp the meaning? Or, did you try to understand such texts, but have you already given it up because there are too many words you don't know yet and you got tired of looking them up in a dictionary? But don't despair. There are plenty of both offline and online resources available to improve your reading skills. To read texts easily, you'll need to build up your vocabulary and improve your knowledge on grammar too, but such exercises can help you improve your listening and speaking skills too. It's necessary to have a good understanding of grammar and enough vocabulary to understand texts in a foreign language, especially those ones for adults, such as newspapers and academic papers. For example, as we already mentioned in a previous video, in German you can say, Der Hund hat den Mann gebissen. And, Den Hund hat der Mann gebissen. Which have completely different meanings, although both nouns are located identically, because of the cases indicated at the definitive articles. You won't find it too hard to understand a text if only a few words are unknown to you, but you'll be at a loss if there are too many words you aren't familiar with. However, there are many ways for those without enough vocabulary and grammar to be able to read texts in a foreign language with ease. On this video, we'd like to introduce some of these various methods. First, dictionaries to be used to build up the vocabulary which is required to go on reading. Nowadays more and more people are using online dictionaries instead of printed ones, as internet is full of such services. So you just find any text online, read it carefully, look up the words you don't understand using such online dictionaries to grasp their meaning and write them down at Word, Excel, etc and try reading out the whole text when you finish reading it up to the end, confirming what each new word stands for. Such a practice is important because you'll not only deepen your understanding of the written text, but also be able to improve your speaking ability by pronouncing the words. If you want some audio files for reference, you can use text-to-speech sites such as ttsfree.com, which was already mentioned in a previous video on the listening skill, to create MP3 files of such texts, and imitate that synthesized voice to improve your pronunciation. These days, the quality of text-to-speech services has improved so much that they aren't machine-like and unnatural anymore in most cases. They're now so excellent that you can use them to study a foreign language as well. A very useful app to be installed for browsers is Transover. You just need to move your mouse pointer to the unknown word and translations will pop up to help you understand better so you don't have to go to another website or type words. This app is available for more than 60 languages, covering the needs for most linguists. Another interesting dictionary is Lingui, a service provided by DeepL, a German company which is more famous for its excellent machine translation services. Terms are chosen on the basis of the comparison of bilingual texts. This website is highly recommended especially when you look for specific terms not found in ordinary dictionaries, although it's also useful for foreign language learners too. In addition to this, Wikipedia is surprisingly useful when looking for translations of technical terms not found in dictionaries. Wikipedia is available in many different languages around the world, and there are often multiple language versions of the same term. So you just type the word you're looking up, then choose for the version of the language you want, and the translation will appear. Also, some articles are just translations of their English counterpart, so you can use these bilingual texts as resources for your reading, building up your vocabulary. Also Wiktionary, a sister website of Wikipedia, can be used to look up words. Its remarkable feature is that etymology is included in most words, helping you track how each word has changed over time and which words are cognates, that means other words which share the same root. Such detailed descriptions will be useful to understand each word even more deeply. A traditional method to improve your reading skill is to compare bilingual texts. 
You get any book in the language you're learning, as well as its English translation, and start reading by comparing both versions. Some words or expressions in the original text might be hard for you to understand, but the English translation gives you the clue on understanding it, then you go back to the original one to grasp the meaning. You can also look up such words using dictionaries to check what they mean, and don't forget to read out the whole text when you read up to the end to deepen your understanding. This process will eventually help you get used to read texts in that foreign language. Another easy and recommended way to study using bilingual translation is to use machine translation. Such services have been improved so much that now they can be used to read translations with considerable accuracy. It's true that they aren't still perfect and sometimes you can find mistranslations or even untranslated parts, but even so it's quite often good enough to read newspaper articles. Google Translate was the most famous machine translation for many years, but DeepL, founded in Germany in 2017, is now providing better translation, so many have switched to this service. However, since DeepL is a German company, their priority is to be available in the official languages of the European Union. While only eight non-EU languages can be used, Chinese, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Norwegian, Russian, Turkish, and Ukrainian. So, if you are learning another language, such as Arabic, Hindi, Thai, or Vietnamese, you should use Google Translate instead. Returning to the study method using bilingual translation, this advanced technology allows you to pick up appropriate articles online and use them as bilingual texts, without having to buy the original text and English translation separately. When reading, we recommend you to make a list of new words and occasionally review them. When you keep reading a long book or text, the same word may appear over and over again, and it's time-consuming and inefficient to look it up once more if you've already looked it up and have forgotten its meaning. Such words list is helpful also to enrich your vocabulary on top of improving your reading skills. Also, making MP3 files of such new words will enable to memorize them more easily, as you can remember them whenever you like by listening. Also on reading texts, it's important to review the grammar as needed. It isn't uncommon to find grammatical rules which aren't too often used in the daily conversation when you read such writings, and it's necessary to master them so you can read such books, articles, and so on in a foreign language in a smooth manner, especially if your goal is to go beyond being able to conduct a daily life, for instance, to study or work professionally abroad. So you see that there's a tremendous amount of both online and offline resources available to help you improve your reading comprehension skills in a foreign tongue. You can choose the method that best fits your budget, your interests, the amount of time you can dedicate to study a foreign language, while training at the same time your other skills such as listening and speaking. So let's summarize what we've learned today. 1. It's necessary not only to read sentences, but also to improve your vocabulary and grammar knowledge in order to develop reading comprehension skills in a foreign language. 2. You can deepen your understanding and improve your ability to express yourself by reading out the text after you have read it carefully and properly. 3. An app called Transover shows the meaning of a word simply when you hover the mouse pointer over it in the browser. 4. Among other dictionaries, Wikipedia is a good place to search for technical terms, and Wiktionary is useful if you want to know the etymology of a word. 5. It's useful to read and compare bilingual texts to improve reading comprehension. Now that machine translation has been so improved, you can study a foreign language also by using machine-translated bilingual texts. 6. Building up a good vocabulary size isn't enough to grasp accurately what's written unless you have mastered grammar, so review grammar as necessary. Thank you for watching this video. We're looking forward to seeing you in the next one.